Hello, Nigel Tutorials here, coming at you with another awesome tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this retro photo effect. To start, open up the photo you want to create the effect on. I'm just going to use this image again. Once you have the photo open, paste whatever background you want, want to have in. I'm going to use this textured wood block. Kind of looks like a cutting board. And then just press Control T and free transform it to fit the picture and then click enter and drag this below your image and this is where the effect starts to take shape with your image selected press control T and resize it so that's a little bit smaller than your document area and I'll make it a little bit smaller than that too alright and then press enter and double click on that layer to bring up the layer styles panel and go down to stroke and I'm going to do the color white so that it looks like a photo going to increase the size a little bit and if you notice it's rounded right there and we don't want that so the position change it to inside now it's perfectly squared off and it looks good and we can just resize it um, I like 9 on this size of the photo and that looks pretty good we can center that. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to duplicate that layer. You can duplicate it as many times as you want. It just depends on how many photos you want to stack up. I think I'll keep it simple and just do three. And then, and you can select the other layers and just free transform them and rotate them however you want, position them wherever. I'm just going to do a simple twist, twist, and then enter. And that looks pretty good, but I want to add a drop shadow so it looks like they're actually stacked on top of each other. So double click on the top layer again. Drop shadow. I don't think I'm going to mess with anything. I like it the way it is. So I'm just going to click OK. And right click, go to copy layer style, and paste it on the other layers. It would be easier if you did it beforehand. Um, so whenever you're doing it, do it that way but I just did it after so there you go super simple to do if you want you can resize this to make it a little bit smaller so there we go I like the way that turned out I hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy it please give it a like and favorite and subscribe for more